How you doing? Fine, how are you? Good, is Ali here? No, he's not. All right, are you uh, Charlie? No, I'm not Charlie. All right, uh, George, I'm sorry. Yes, I am. George, we interviewed you yesterday. I guess you sent us over to uh, the competition over at Linebach. Can we uh, see your operation? No, you cannot. Well, why'd you send us over to uh, Linebach? I did not send you that. You, you text me in the address. No, I did not. Okay. Well, let me ask you uh, about your product here. Obviously, where, where the text message came from? From the 727 number that I reached I don't yesterday. have a 727 number. Well, that's we, when we interviewed you yesterday, that's the number we, we were calling. Well, I don't know. That's the number that somebody gave okay. me to me. Why are you manufacturing and selling this stuff? Manufacturing what? Synthetic marijuana. Well, I, I told you yesterday. I mean, you're asking me a stupid question, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, you can cut whatever you want. You can put whatever you want on the news. Yeah. Because I know you're going to go ahead and cut the part that you, you know, want to You know, kids are getting sick and in some okay. cases dying Kids from get stuff. sick from a lot of other stuff, okay? So we are obeying the law, as I told you yesterday. I have no problem whatsoever, okay, manufacturing anything that is legal, okay? You know kids are getting sick. I don't sick. know anything, my friend. You, the you, fact I mean, states... I let me, let me I mean, ask I, you something. Let I me mean, ask you it's, a, it's in book. USA Today this okay. week, sick from spice. You, okay, let me ask you a very simple question, okay? And you answer me. Do you ever go to the supermarket and buy Clorox bleach? Okay? Answer me, yes or no? Yeah, of course. Okay. And, and, okay, hold uh, on. and no, let I don't drink it. Let me finish my question, then you can ask me whatever you want. You bring it home, right? You put a lock on it. 13-year-old boy can grab that stuff and drink it, and he can go to the hospital. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Right or wrong? Absolutely right. You're okay. absolutely right. So why you don't call Clorox Bleach Company and tell them, do you know that this stuff is harmful for kids, and a lot of kids go to the hospital and get hospitalized for that? Yeah, but this D is did not... Did you ever do that? Hey, I'm on. asking hey, you a simple question. This is reality here. You well, know that kids are going is, into these stores okay. and buying this stuff no. and getting sick. No. You, you no. Have, I don't know any. I mean, you I, don't I, read the newspaper here? Of course I didn't. Newspaper. Sick from spice. Doctors may not okay. recognize signs. Okay. More using fake pot okay. products, what? experimenting themselves you. with very okay. dangerous chemicals. You okay. know what kids are doing. Okay. Come on. Who are you kidding? Let me, ask you, let me ask you another question. Yeah. Okay. You know a lot of product in the market that can harm kids. Okay. Do you ever go to any of these people and tell them, listen, a lot of kids get hurt, a lot of kids go to the hospital and get hospitalized from either uh, bad medicine or bad chemicals that people buy to spray their garden or any of hey, that? Come on, Re reality is you know people are buying this and smoking it. No, you know I that. don't know so, that. Oh, and I told on. you that yesterday. I said, you don't why, you don't go, why you don't go to Europe, okay, where everything is legal? Okay, well, They have you... no problem. Kids have no problem. Okay, I was born and raised in Lebanon where there is no control over uh, cigarettes or alcohol. I never picked up alcohol. I never uh, smoked cigarettes. And it's open. Anybody can buy it. Five-year-old kid can go to the store uh, and buy it. You know that kids are going into these convenience stores I and gas stations. I don't know. Oh, come on. I don't come know. Come on. It's I, I don't even... sick from spice. Let me ask you this. <laughs> You're asking me a question and I'm giving you an honest answer. I don't go to the stores. I do not go and see who buy the product. Okay? I do not. And I'm being as honest as I can with you. You know what people are doing no, with this product. I do not know. And what we do is 100% legal. Okay. And everything we manufacture is sent to the lab. And in the lab report, if you would like, you can wait here. I can get you a copy of the lab report. Well, why don't you we show have. us in and just show us how... What, what, you what know, do you want me to show you? I want the, the, the product, how you bag it, how you... We you don't bag it here. All right. Then, then just the... the um... We buy it. We buy it from California. We buy it from uh, different uh, parts of the country, and, and we sell it. Now, you can come through if you want. You can go. Okay. Come in. Nothing. Come on. So, I mean, you well, know... Well, then we let's buy... see how you... How, can you just show us your production facility, how you box it up and we stuff like that? We don't produce anything here. Yeah, we, buy, no, we, buy, we buy product mm -hmm. from manufacturers, and we sell it. Right. So what? Why you're after someone like us, distributors? Why you don't go after the main because people? Because kids are winding up in the emergency room with rapid heartbeats. So let me ask you this: How many kids get hurt every day from other stuff? Uh, you know, as I told you, how you, many? You you personally can't control other stuff. You can't control what you sell here. I don't here. control anything. All what I'm doing is I'm selling legal product. 
Okay, I'm selling uh, the but product you, that we it sell. It may be illegal, but kids are getting you keep hurt, telling and me you kids. know that. You keep telling me the same thing. Kids, why, why would I worry about somebody that I have no control over? You're a human being. I am a human being, and I have kids, okay? Would you, would want, you want your kids smoking what you sell? I, what I said is not for smoking. Oh, come on. You know that kids are know. smoking this no, stuff. I don't know. No, I don't know that kids are smoking it. If I know kids are smoking it, I'll stop right now. Okay? I don't know that kids are smoking it. And I'm being as honest as I can. And I told you that before. I told you that yesterday. And I said, I know 100%. If I know that kids are smoking it, I will not sell it. I, I'm here to tell you. Kids and, are smoking and, it. And the other thing is, I don't produce it. So why you don't go after people that do produce them? Why are you coming after me? Is it true or not that the Sheriff's Department has at least uh, tested and found uh, hundreds of pounds, in some cases over a thousand pounds of product coming in to this company at this address that's been shipped into Estes uh, shipping and so forth, directed here, raw product? No, you're absolutely wrong. You need to correct your information the only time that the DEA came here and the FBI came here and the Sheriff Department came here, when the people that we buy stuff from, uh, the packages got broken and they thought it was illegal and they came here and I opened the door for them and I let them inside and they sat with us here and I showed them our reports, I showed them our products and I said, whatever you would like to take, you can take with you, test it and see if everything is legal, let us know. And they said everything is perfect, and they left. And that was two months ago. Mm. So you don't think if we are doing anything illegal or no. if we are harming anyone. Nobody is saying that you are currently doing anything illegal. No, I'm asking you a simple question. If you don't think, if the sheriff department does not think that we are doing anything illegal or anything that will harm people, that they will come There's after us. There's a difference us? between... I'm asking you. I'm asking between, you the question you're asking me. Right. There's the difference between so, whether it's currently illegal and whether it is harmful. There is okay. nobody out there who would say smoking this stuff is not harmful. My friend, I don't sell anything that people smoke. I told you that hundred <laughs> times. And I've told you a hundred times. Kids are smoking this. That's not my problem. I'm not gonna go outside. I don't, I don't control people what they do in their lives. I cannot go outside and go and tell everybody, you know, okay. buy this or don't buy that. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not in Who's that Ali? position. Ali is not here. He's a salesperson with us. Okay, but everything is, you know, uh, it, he's the registered agent. Uh, everything is being shipped with his name. No. You're wrong yeah. again. Okay. Well. You see, you need to correct your information. Well, all right. Because as I told you, we don't import anything. Everything we buy is from the United States. So okay. if anything we buy is illegal, I'm buying it from this country. Want to give us some samples so we could see for ourselves? I can't give you any samples because we stopped selling anyway. Oh, okay. We stopped selling because, you know, the bill passed. Yeah. As you know. Governor hasn't signed it yet. And, uh, well, I'm just saying he did not sign it yet. But once we knew it passed, yeah. we stopped selling our product. Well, I mean, you've been distributing it within the last couple of weeks. We have not distributed anything. Once the bill was signed on Friday, okay, okay, we have not distributed anything. All right. All right. So if you if you can't do it in Florida, what are your what are your intentions? Our intentions is you know we I mean we sell other products, other novelty items to convenience stores, and you know actually I'm planning to go to China and pick up some product that we can sell to convenience stores, T-shirts, uh, vitamin pills, you know other product that we can sell. Okay. Glass uh, items, you know, and it's a lot of things that we can sell. Yeah. Okay. You know. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Okay, who are these people over there in uh, Linebaugh? Yeah. Are, do you know who Look, they are? I have no idea. It's not yeah. my, this is my phone. This is yeah. my phone. Okay. This is my phone. All right. I have on me right you now. Me Give me your phone number. Uh, 813. Okay. 813. 352-0612. Okay. This is my phone. It's in your audience number. Okay. And it's going to register right there. This is the only phone I have in my name. So whoever text message you that address, 
I have yeah, but, no but idea. when I talked to you yesterday, I talked to you on... And you asked me if I want to come and interview you. Right. I said no. All right. But when I talked to you, I, I was talking to you on 727-403-2406. My friend, I, as I told you, I mean, I was in the office and somebody had me the phone. They said someone wants to talk to you. Okay. Well, that so that whoever, whoever has that phone, um, whoever has that phone, then texted us and said you could come over to our warehouse. I have it right here. Okay, well that's why you're telling me that. <laughs> you know, you keep telling well, we, me. We thought you had invited us. No, over it, based it, on no, that. it's yeah. not. I'm just saying. You know, you keep telling me. You keep uh, giving me information that's wrong. Yeah. You know. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. All right.